Leah, thank you. And as we told you at the top of this newscast, Northeast Ohio, the epicenter for a month's worth of huge events. And that means a huge economic boost for Northeast Ohio. This weekend's MAC tournament and just the start. Michelle Nix picks up the story from here. Cue the band because the MAC tournament is scoring big for Cleveland. The final matchup, one of the greatest rivalries in college sports, even for those with the house divided. Dr. John Steinbrecher is the MAC commissioner. A full house, it's college basketball, there's a trip to the NCAA tournament on the line. How does it get any better than that? But believe it or not, it actually does get even better because along with thousands of basketball fans converging on the city, the St. Patrick's Day celebrations are packing local bars and restaurants, and it's just the beginning. Enjoying the weather, enjoying Cleveland, the place to be. Incredible. I mean, it's like all it's bringing all this energy to Cleveland. I mean, springtime comes around, and it's just really making the city like alive. The general manager at Flannery says they're rolling in green and have 25 more kegs of Guinness to sell along with more than 200 pounds of corned beef. It's kind of like just like a welcome to summer. You know, the St. Paisley kind of kicks it off, and then, you know, the Greater Cleveland Sports Commission and downtown Cleveland, they do an amazing job of getting stuff here. And uh, the Women's Final Four is going to be huge just on its own. But the amount of people that are coming for the Eclipse on top of it, nobody's going to be taking reservations that weekend. That's all I can say. The four-day MAC tournament, just the tip-off to a number of major events here in Cleveland and Northeast Ohio. Business already booming big time. And it could be a slam dunk because the economic impact for this event alone, upwards of $15 million. And even more hoop action in the form of the women's final four could generate an additional $22 million for area businesses. A win-win no matter how you look at it. The Greater Cleveland Sports Commission and volunteers already on the ball. Inflating basketballs for 2,000 kids to bounce and dribble during an upcoming parade on April 7th from Public Square to the Cleveland Convention Center. Monica Gustin is with the Cleveland Sports Commission. We are so excited to host the NCAA Women's Final Four this year. Women's sports is on the rise. Women's college basketball, professional women's sports. This is a, a moment, and we're going to keep going with that momentum here in Cleveland. Momentum that includes Guardians opening day on April 8th, which collides with the total solar eclipse that will attract people from all over the world to Northeast Ohio. And if we're lucky, the Cavs will have their shot in the playoffs. A manager at the corner alley says each and every event this season, a win-win for everyone. This is great for us. Very great. Great. People are everywhere. It's the greatest, greatest city in the world right here in our backyard. Reporting in Cleveland, Michelle Nix, 19 News. Now